way louder. Hey guys, is this a little more balanced? This is a little bit finals. Like Taka, you can see right now, it's barely, uh, the microphone is barely going oh, yeah, above barely where the game audio up. is. It needs to be, the, uh, the microphone needs to be a little bit higher. So these, these two. Okay, then. Testing, testing, testing. No, dude, this is the monitor volume, not the volume for the actual input into the, into the, uh, into the system. Well, he said saying it's perfect now. The cat. Yeah. Okay, if you guys say it's perfect. All right, so starting with match one for... Uh, Blue's the finals? Yeah. Match G5 Dugan and Evil Villain versus D and Danny, Danny, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny and Steve regularly plays highly here. No surprise. Yeah, but you can't really, uh... Oh, wait, no, that isn't even them. Ah, that's our Hungry and Yellow Flash. I was about to say, that's weird. Why are, uh... Why are they playing non-Fox characters? They both play Fox. <laughs> Go for the ultimate mix up there. Wow, Little Mac gets stage fight hard. No tech there. That's a quick stock. I think both of the uh, both of the teams are really trying to figure out their spacing in this matchup. Uh, in the yellow yeah. flash, he's trying his hardest to stay on stage and just uh, getting as many hits as he can. He should try to be a little more concerned because the fact he's already down his stock. Yeah, he's st he's still rushing in there. He's dashing towards them. He's not letting them come to him. Exactly. The big thing about uh, the big thing about Ryu, especially uh, his focus counter, is that you have to keep in mind that I mean multi-hit moves will break it. Right. Yeah. So in that situation where Danny, Danny, Danny landed in front of Yellow Flash with the uh, with the counter, he should have episode immediately mm -hmm. upon seeing that to try to get the first hit to, to hit the counter and then uh, the second hit to break it. Right. Oh, and you know, Flash has a heal. Let's see if he makes use of it. Ooh, and a nice. forward tilt killing Danny, Danny, Danny. Forward tilt so strong. We're going to see if he can come back. Side beast was only option. Danny, Danny, Danny can't get the edge guard. Oh, man. And, uh, and our hungry takes his first stock. Yellow Flash has see being much more oh. defensive now, staying towards the middle. Nice up smash by. Very, that was actually, I disagree, that was actually a very bad roll by our hungry. He should have just stayed in the shield. Yeah. There wasn't much that uh, Steve could have really done to him. He has to be more aware of his opponent as well. Little Flash doing his best to stay alive. There isn't much that he can do against a Mario that's covering the ledge. Yeah, he has many tools to gimp. Little Max with his cave, flood, and. Very fast aerials, has a tough time coming back on stage. Oh, Yellow Flash tried to cover for Steve. We didn't expect him, uh, our hungry to actually get Steve off of himself perfectly. That was very unfortunate. You see, like, Yellow Flash and uh, our hungry stretch is definitely we're trying to stay on stage as much as possible. Oh, man. That is very unfortunate for Yellow Flash. The moment that he gets the KO, uh, KO has to be set. Like, uh, Yellow Flash on the edge guard, Steve. He's very good at getting back on. That's snapping immediately. Giving a very small window for that down Oh my work. goodness, wow. they both got oh. hit by the focus. Not a good showing so far from our hungry and yellow flash. I mean, at first, it, uh, that unfortunate death in the first uh, made it, didn't make it seem like it was going to be a very difficult uh, match for them. In the exact situation, uh, our hungry should have been more aware of this partner's uh, positioning because uh, yellow flash could have come in with an up smash. That would have definitely been really Right. The problem a lot of teams have, especially at, uh, at mid level, is they're not 100 if they're not playing with someone they usually go with, they're not 100% aware of what their partner is doing. Uh, that true. awareness is extremely important in any match in order to just make sure that, um, in order to just make sure that uh, you can capitalize on every opportunity to separate great teams from okay teams. Yeah, that's the reason why two great players doesn't make a great team necessarily, at least off the bat, because yeah, half exactly. the game is chemistry also. Oh man. Uh, Steve going really hard to get rid of the Kale Punch, and he does. got rid of it with a down air. And that's a nice forward, so he's throwing out some now. Yeah, Yellow Flash and Arhung have to play very carefully if they want to win this match. I mean, it's completely doable, but they have to play much more uh, conservative than they have. Yes. Oh, and a good uh, up nice smash. Punish another bad. one of those will kill. Yep. That's a very good punish to the Tatsumaki. Oh no! And he lost his first, he lost his last stock. It's all up to Yellow Flash at this point. Will Flood finish it? Oh, oh nice! Down he won't come there. back from that. Didn't need the spike there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sanja.
like there are multiple opportunities, <laughs> multiple times in that match where um, if Yellow Flash had noticed what his opponent was doing uh, to our hungry, he could have sealed a stock very easily just by running up and up smashing. Little Mac is one of the few characters that if you're not focusing solely on him and you give him any room to breathe, he will be able to punish you for it and he will be able to take a stock for it, not tens out of ten. Extremely fast on the ground, quick smashes, he has the whole package. Yeah, precisely. Hey guys, how are we sounding uh, audio-wise? I look at our audio bar and it, we're not even going to half. We could probably raise this a little bit, but I'm not going to mess with Taka's down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to... I mean, if he has it the way that he wants it to be, like, I'm not going to mess with it. It's just that, you know, like, I do believe that... Uh, like, I am a little bit familiar with audio mixers, so I do, right. like... I do understand, like, how to work them. All right, Kaya, that's awesome, and it sounds great. Nice. All right, let's see... Uh, you guys can't really see it? Or ma oh, maybe you can. Well, you can't really see it, I guess, but uh, we actually have two TVs now for doubles and a third TV in the center for commentators. Which yeah, is a very lot nicer cool for everyone involved. Yeah, in. so much more room. Before, you, we were all just jumbled together, okay. touching elbows. I'm sorry, I got out. Kaya, please let us know if we sound a little bit better. I touched a knob. I know Taco will hate me for this. Oh. But Taco doesn't know. Taco will never know, unless you <laughs> tell him. <laughs> you have to be very careful with this. It has to be very gradual if you're making these sort of right. like this. I'm just like, just really fine tuning is the important thing. Okay, on to match two, Meverse. Meverse is actually a very interesting counter pick. Um, a lot of people don't like to give Little Mac platforms, and as far as like platform stages are concerned, this probably is one of the better ones that Little Mac can go to. Oh, and he got gimped by his uh, own teammates. He lost his double jump very early there. Unfortunate for Little Mac. Yeah, and but that's the risk that, you take. Are hungry, forward airing him by mistake, completely finished the stock. This match started exactly the same. Uh, yellow flash immediately losing a stock. Our hungry is actually doing a much better, uh, much, much better job of not taking damage. Yeah, he had some high percent very early on in the game, and they were down two stocks early, which is pretty hard to come back against a team like. Mm, good down damage. smash. Yep, and that was actually Steve's stock. Firmly grasp it. Meme verse is probably one of the top ten stages in this game. Just for the memes. And exactly. it is like a very good stage oh, stand on a wow. Very Guess good the KO punch. Unfortunately, yeah. he was at zero. He was at four <laughs> percent, which is not nearly low, high enough to kill. He needs to be at least a ten. Yeah, yeah. And that's with like a down tilt, like supplementing it too. That's true. That knockback growth is insane. I mean, it has like the best knockback growth. It literally has the best knockback growth yeah. in the game. <laughs> Alright, Sky Upper Bot XD, have fun playing doubles. I hope you uh, hop into the chat every once in a while to watch some singles action. Oh, and Yellow Flash losing his second stock is very unfortunate. Yeah, they look very tough late. now. <laughs> However, Diddy still has his three stocks, so it's not complete despair so right now. To be perfectly honest, though, Little Mac can technically get more out of each stock than Diddy can. At least in terms of uh, kill power, because he does get a KO punch for every single stock, provided he doesn't get gimped. Yeah, that's true. So if, it, if he, even if he takes a stock from uh, even if he takes a, a stock from R Hungry, there is the chance that he could uh, make up for it with a good kill. So he does have oh, wow, nice up smash. Gets on the platform. Wouldn't have killed if it wasn't on the platform. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, Mario's up smash is actually very strong. Much stronger than people seem to think it is. Yeah, very very strong. See right there, Danny missed a chance to uh, pick up extra damage on, uh, on Steve on the platform. Oh, Yellow Flash taking Danny's second stock. And wow, our Hungry, actually, our hungry and uh, Yellow Flash actually pulled into the lead. Yeah, they are. They're ahead of stocks, and Little Mike has that KO punch. Very dangerous. He's had it for a while now. Yeah, no, he just needs to get... Wow, and had that perfect shield, that was his chance. In that situation, yeah, um, our hunger really should have focused on trying to give Yellow Flash as much space as possible so he could set up what he, could, what he needed to to really capitalize on that KO punch. But with them having the lead, they might act. They might. Oh, wow. the super arm! Oh, the F smash is just flying out. No fear. 
to 610 all the He finally boxes. uses it. it. Almost gets it on our hungry. Oh, very nice. nice. Good up smash. Good awareness not to throw him. Yeah, and really he gets it with the side B. Ryu is a lot lighter than people believe would believe you to believe him to be. Is he? He's heavier than Mario, right? Yeah, but just slightly. slightly. Mm. And, and Mario is like literally like middle of the road, and the majority of the characters are uh, are about as heavy as Mario. But man, uh, uh, R hungry and yellow flash take game two. Game two. This is Lucas final, so of course it's best of five. One one now. Gonna see the counter pick from the Panda Brothers, and they already have it. Where do they go? Smashville? Uh, oh, Town and City. Town and City. Okay. Low ceiling, I guess. Hoping for them. Sure, you can and Mario up smash kills. No, that could very much be. That could very well be it. Uh, I think another big part of it is the fact that uh, it doesn't allow Little Mac to recover as much hard uh, vertically as most other stages do. Uh, and it also gives them a little bit of breathing space. If they're not that comfortable being close to each other, then this is an optimal stage to go to. Serving oh. the teammates. Good job. Now I got the 2 on 1 on Little Mac. Rack up good percentage there. Flash looking for an opportunity. He had one right there. Yeah, he did. He threw oh, out. very good. Jab Gets that cancel. double jab. Yep. Yeah. The double jab cancel into KO punch is a very good move. If he had jumped out of the way, he probably would have been safe, but he air dashed instead. Something you never want to do, especially with a KO punch. Nice. Up B. Oh, no. Mario in the air. Dash attack kills Ryu. Wow. Little Mac will come back if he's undisturbed. He does. Or Hunger did a very good job of covering Yellow Flash's recovery there. Uh, he probably could have done a little bit more by keeping uh, Megan and Ryu out. And Yellow Flash definitely focusing on chipping away and uh, just getting small hits and trying to lead them into large hits. Hoping that uh, his opponent doesn't really react to the, uh, to the small hits in the appropriate way. So it looks like uh, Danny 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 at least is caught on to what uh, Yellow Flash is going for. Nice back read. Nice roll read. Oh, that's it. That's a stock. You can see right there, you only landed one hit of the uh, forward tilt. You need to, hit, uh, to land both of them in order to have broken the counter. Or the focus right. attack. And that's even assuming that uh, Danny 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 didn't just react to the first hit and release it right then and there. I'm not actually sure it's possible. Okay, uh, <laughs> and C loses his second stock. See, a very interesting thing about this team dynamic is that, for the most part, the only person that's really at risk of getting gimped early is, uh, is Yellow Flash. Due yeah, to the fact he's... that, uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, unlike the other two games, he didn't die very oh, out early on, no. and wow. Both got, I'm not sure who can. The only ones that are really at risk of dying super early are uh, is Yellow Flash due to the ability for Little Mac to get in super easily. Uh, unfortunately for against Ryu, neither Diddy Kong nor Little Mac have the tools to really stop him from coming back. And, uh, and Mario is just extremely difficult for any character to really take out unless they can go super deep. Which Diddy cannot. Yeah, Diddy gets a low, you can't charge that up fast enough. This is a primarily a stage game. Uh, if Danny, 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 and Steve were going to try this a little bit smarter, they might want to go with a uh, more off stage character so that they don't have to fight uh, so have to fight Yellow Flash on the stage as much. Oh man! Danny, Danny, Danny actually saves uh, Yellow Flash, probably not by choice. I would hope not. Oh, wow, another jab cancel. Can Steve and we have a two-on-one situation. Very doable for for Steve. They're both at high percent, but it's difficult. Any two-on-one is difficult. Steve took the moment to, uh, to really prepare himself. He probably could have finished it with an up smash, honestly, as opposed to... Oh, wow. and a good back throw. Little Flash is going to try to punish a landing, most likely. Mm -hmm. uh, He's going to try to... Uh, ammo. He's trying to bait something, but it gets grabbed and back down. Oh, this is difficult. He uses his double jump. No, he's fine. Nice. Mm, 
was very close to actually punishing the landing perfectly, and that probably would have killed. Hang up. Oh! Wow, he drops his shield just for a split second, and it cost him. He was probably, uh, if I had to guess, he was going to end his roller, he was going to spot dodge. Very unfortunate for, uh, very unfortunate for, uh, Steve. Steve, yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow, and in, in the yellow flesh and uh, in the yellow flesh and are hungry actually take it to game four. Will they be able to steal the? Uh, will they take loser finals? It was actually looking very difficult at first. But yeah, that's what I thought. They adapted, I feel, really well. Yellow flesh not being super aggressive and started hanging back, throwing out his tilts, and that just makes a world of a difference. And we have the counter pick already. We're going back to town and city. I guess we're just uh, hoping that they can outplay them in this game. Wow, did he get scammed super early by Ryu's back air? I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't watching for like the first second. I wasn't expecting anything major to happen. And oh, D himself Steve. gets scammed by Little Mac of all people. Well, it was more of an SD, not a game. A little bit too far there, but that actually evened out the uh, match. And it's mean the fact that uh, our hungry's been playing the role of the stock tank for the last few games. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens now that uh, Yellow right. Flash has to play a little more uh, intelligently with the stocks. If he plays recklessly as he has been up to this point, he's most likely not gonna hold on to his stocks. Oh, that was cute by Danny Danny Danny. First thing I would have pivot grabbed, but that's to get rid of the KO. Oh, and the back air! Getting wow. rid of the KO punch, nice. Good awareness. Oh, when he gets down smash on the wrong side of the stage, he gets killed for it. Whoever hit box of the down smash actually flung him all the way to blast it. Danny just approaching with those, what is that, up tilt or forward tilt? Oh, the uh, double Diablo. jab. Diablo. Oh, that's a... Uh... I think that's a jab, actually. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a jab. Ooh, forward smash by Steve actually steals a... Uh... Little Mike just eats the forward smash to the face. Yellow Flush and R-Hungry have to be have to play this very intelligently in order to uh, in order to take this game. Uh, they're actually down by a tiny bit. And, uh, Yellow Flush unfortunately missing another opportunity to take a stock on this team. This is very chaotic. Both don't want to get into each other's faces. Steve's definitely caught on to uh, Yellow Flash's. Uh, oh! Wow. Uh, he's definitely caught on to Yellow Flash's uh, jab tricks. Yeah, he's trying to jump out of them now. Oh, perfect nice, pickup. That was, man. That was That's what Yellow Flash needs to do whenever he sees. I heard get grabs and he just needs to run in and do whatever punch he needs needed. to do. That's, uh, that's how you have to play Little Mac in doubles. If, uh, if you're not punishing, uh, if you're not punishing laggy throws, if you're not, you're not doing your job. Oh, very unfortunate. Only smashing his own partner. Good thing he didn't angle that up, or else I would have killed. Right. Yellow Flash is playing very, uh... His playstyle right now is playing very juggle-heavy. He's trying to react to, uh... What his opponents do, do whenever he knocks them into the air. And for the most part, they figure out that air knocking to the ground is a terrible idea. Oh! Wow. That didn't up take air. it. And just like that, uh. Oh man, well, uh, Danny, now Danny, Danny, Danny finally losing a second yeah. stock. Now it's an even game stock wise, but. It's Danny, Danny, Danny and C have the percent lead. It's a very slight percent lead, though. It's like yeah. two to three hits. In fact, they already uh, made up for it. Just that uh, particular combo. But uh, Yellow Flash is a bit very conservative here. If uh, our hungry goes down, he's going to be in a very difficult situation. Oh, man. Steve almost taking wow, out. Oh, that's oh! it. That's it for Little Mac. He got caught in the focus attack. 
just needed to be more careful there. It's gonna be very difficult for Diddy Kong. Our hungry, uh, can our hungry can still win this. He's doing a very good job by focusing on the person with the banana as opposed to uh, trying to fight Danny one on one. Uh, Diddy's banana is a tool that's often underestimated, or like how useful it is. Oh my goodness! Nice. He just gets up. And... Should have just ran up and up the beat, honestly, but can't really begrudge him for going for the safer option. Oh, he's definitely playing very, uh, a lot less carefully than he should be. Wow. And a lot of opportunities for Danny, Danny, Danny and Steve to seal that stock. Oh my goodness! Wow! And he's gonna I go for the. Grab. He could have. could have done anything else. Yeah. He could have up smash. He could have forward smash. So neither of those would have killed. Oh, wow! You that me? pop off is well deserved. That was incredible. Are you kidding me, the, dude? The spaghetti. It's all, all over the floor. Spaghetti everywhere. These are khakis. I don't want to get any spaghetti.